Hello friends, so I am Darshan Malu and uh, I am right now joining you from Stuttgart, Germany. Uh, I am currently doing my Masters in Automotive Service Technology and Processes. Uh, this course is basically a combination of Automotive Engineering and Management, uh, basically a Techno Management course. And I am doing this from Ostfalia University in Wolfsburg, uh, which is also the headquarters of Volkswagen. And that's the reason the course is also in collaboration with Volkswagen. That that means that uh, most of the professors are from Volkswagen itself. They have an experience of around 30 to 40 years working with Volkswagen or some are, uh, are department heads of some uh, department in Volkswagen itself. And the course curriculum is also based on the requirements of Volkswagen itself. I'm right now uh, doing my master thesis. That is a last year, last sem project in masters. And uh, in this, uh, this I'm doing in Bosch itself. Before this, I had to do my internship in this in Bosch itself because this was a compulsory internship. So I have played for a lot of companies, uh, from Bosch to Mercedes-Benz to Audi to all the German <laughs> automotive makers, basically. So uh, I had applied almost 21 applications. Then I got an uh, offer letter from Forbes, that is Audi, uh, then Bosch, uh, then Mercedes-Benz, and lastly Volkswagen. In Bosch, I got both the combination, a very unique combination which I wanted to do in Bosch, uh, in electric drives basically in the project management office, also in Stuttgart, which is the headquarters of Bosch worldwide. And so what were the rounds for this thing? So they uh, basically called me uh, on, my telef on my mobile and asked me uh, what, what do you expect from this internship? What I uh, uh, plan, like how long you want this internship for? And what are your what are your expectations regarding regarding what um, what do you what do you want to learn from this internship? How do you want to uh, relate your learn skills in your uh, university to what we are doing in internship? So how it would be kept related? And then he asked me what are my hobbies because here hobbies are very very important because um, Germany is quite different. They give importance to extracurricular activities. Also, for the also they uh, give a lot of importance to the marks. And but uh, it's when you say you don't have any hobbies, the chances of getting internships or any job call reduces to very low percentage. So always make sure that uh, you write your hobbies in your CV. And um, so when you apply on that portal, they ask you for the university documents, uh, your resume, curriculum vitae, and uh, your motivation letter for applying for this university and your marks, what you have scored in your semesters. Um, but normally the, the marks for internship don't really matter a lot unless and until you are doing something very, very technical and chances of uh, this thing getting into technical fields are very low and that's why sorry in other companies uh, like in Audi and in Mercedes and in Volkswagen so they had a similar kind of rounds they asked me before for the telephonic round the same questions what Bosch were asking me and they asked me to uh, do a Skype call in the Skype call they basically asked me how uh, how would you uh, how would you relate yourself with electricals because my knowledge was not in this domain and they asked me how would I get interested in this thing also asked me about my project manager and what I've learned in my university about project management and also what I've learned in my uh, university regarding the diagnosis and service technology related stuff uh, it was really good. They, uh, the, the whole interview, all four interviews were in German. So the German is a priority for getting uh, internship in management related fields. But if you want to do something in uh, pure technical, I think German is not really a priority uh, to get jobs. And uh, 
in internship i got a lot of uh, small projects small scripting work in python and that uh, that got me motivation how to how the python works and then i mo- moved towards advancement in uh, python and how i watched a lot of youtube videos and then there is a website called py4e.com and that is a free open source python learning uh, package there is base there is some, everything from basics to data visualization everything in this course which is free of course it's available online and i think each and every one even not even from engineering background if it's a manager or if he is just a mechanical engineer who has no idea about programming he should learn this thing because right now everyone requires every company requires someone who can uh, visualize the data uh, analyze the data and give a uh, producer a tool for themselves and not uh, not expecting this to the software to be made by someone else for them and um, and for managers it's becoming very competent that uh, the managers know programming and uh, i acquired this from internet sources coursera edx and then from pyforee.com and linkedin a learning i engaged with a lot of teams in uh, bosch for software development how does it work and still i'm working on my project and I'm, i'm still i'm 3 months in this project <laughs> it's going good um, i hope it uh, goes well and i have to submit it in next 3 months after the after this thing i have to apply again for the jobs and then let's see what happens you find this video uh, useful and resourceful and uh, i would i don't have a lot of tips for you but i would suggest to learn python first of all um, before coming to germany if you want to come to germany to, to do your masters uh, i i would totally recommend to do a masters in germany because it's quite in most of the universities are free universities you don't have to pay anything for them and then the uh, salary compared to india is on much a much higher level and getting internships are quite easier even you can do just masters and go back to india to work after two years or um, one and a half years some courses are also for one one and a half year so i think you should uh, do this for this thing i suggest you if you're coming to germany to have at least b1 certificate or at least a2 uh, before coming to uh, germany and that would make it easier for you to get an internship to communicate with other people most of them speak english right uh, nowadays but uh, it's better out when you know german then you can it's easier to mingle with them and talk with them easily if possible buy the project management book of uh, guide uh, pnb okay and for learning the learning project management related principles stuff everything is in the as is all what i would suggest to the future aspirants and uh, thank you thanks to zafar too for making uh, this video thank you so much have a good day bye bye